Hello Rail fans and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft train tutorial. Today we're going to be continuing on with our Chicago Metro train and I'm going to be showing you how to build the bi-level coach cars and also how to modify one of them into the cab car for the rear end of the train. Now these ones probably pose the greatest challenge of any of the passenger cars I've done just because they have a unique interior layout. So there is a bit of trial and error in this video. So let's get right into the build here. The first step is to take a dark oak stair to be the coupler and we'll get it attached up here. On either side of that we're going to put a dark oak fence and underneath of it we're going to put a dark oak fence gate. Then coming off the coupler we're going to put a polished black stone block and we'll extend that one out on each side so it's three wide. Then coming off this corner one we're going to extend down a row of polished black stone blocks right above the rail here and that's going to be 25 blocks long in total including the end. Once you have 25 we're going to make two rows of three on the bottom then we're going to come back up by one and make another row of 25 polished black stone blocks coming down this side. Then we'll extend it two over, turn around here and stack up a dark oak stair to be the coupler, delete these ones. Put a dark oak fence gate underneath it and a dark oak fence on either side. Now we're going to come on the side here and we're going to come underneath it to place our first wheel. So we're going to come underneath and we're going to come on the seventh block in and we're going to put a netherite for a wheel. So there'll be six blocks of space, netherite on the seventh one. Then four polished black stone blocks, then another netherite wheel. Just like that. Then we'll put an upside down stone brick stair here, two stone brick slabs on bottom, and an upside down stone brick stair there. On this side, an end rod axle coming off each wheel. We'll extend the four polished black stone over to this side of the tracks, and another right wheel on each end. Then same thing, an upside down stair here, two slabs on bottom, upside down stair here. Then we'll come down to the other end of the car, and we'll do the truck down here. So same thing. We're going to come underneath the bottom on the seventh block in from the end. So there's six blocks of space before the wheel. Another right wheel, four polished black stone, another another right wheel. Then an upside down stone brick stair here, and here, and two stone brick slabs on bottom. Come over here, extend out your polished black stone to the other rail. An end rod axle on each wheel, and another netherite wheel on this rail on each end. Then an upside down stair here, and here, and two slabs on bottom. Now we'll come up here, and we're going to extend out all this polished black stone so it's three wide. We'll bring it all the way down here, and we'll stop right here, leaving this dip where it goes down one. And then same thing, we'll extend this out on this end of the car, so it's three wide. All the way down to the end here. Then we're gonna come on the side and extend this polished black stone out another block to the side and go end to end with it, making sure we dip down in that middle where it goes down by one block. Same thing on the other side. Then on the end here, we're going to put an acacia button on each side. Then we'll come under here and we're going to run a dark oak fence gate all the way up the middle until it meets the wheels. 
And we'll come down and do the same thing at the other end here. So we'll run our line of dark oak fence gates all the way down until it meets the wheels. Then we're going to take a grindstone and in front of each wheel on the side of the truck we're going to hang an upside down grindstone. We'll do the same thing down here. An upside down grindstone here and here. Then we'll come over and do the other side. So grindstone here and here. And one more corner to go here. A grindstone here and here. Then we're going to come down to this other end and put an acacia button on each of the outside edges here. Then we're going to swing down underneath the middle here and we're going to take out a polished black stone stair. And we're going to come underneath where this dips down. We're going to put five upside down stairs across here. Same thing on this end, five upside down stairs going the opposite way. Now we're going to come on the side where this dips down two upside down polished andesite stairs on each side in front of that dip. Then two right side up stairs, one block in, like this, on each side, and two polished andesite in the middle. Now you might be thinking to yourself, this makes the car wider than normal. And you're right. I had to make an executive decision here. The interior layout of these cars has an open area in the middle of the top floor looking down on the bottom and there was just no way possible, I tried multiple ways, to do that and still be able to walk upstairs at our normal three block wide interior scale. So even though I wouldn't normally do this, I'm making the car one block wider on each side than normal. Next we're going to come on the end of the car on the outside, an upside down polished andesite stair and a polished andesite slab underneath it. Do the same thing on this corner, upside down stair, slab underneath it. And of course, we'll come down and do that at the other end of the car. So an upside down polished andesite stair here, and a slab underneath it. And one more corner to go, do the same thing over here. Then we're going to take a stone block starting in front of that stair and we're going to bring it down the side. And we're going to bring it all the way down, stopping where that metal dip is. Just like that. Then we'll start on the other side of this and bring that down to the end and we'll do the same thing on the other side of the car. Now, on the outside edges, we're going to do another layer of stone, one high. Same thing, coming all the way down the outside edge, skipping that middle doorway where it dips down. Same thing on the other side of the car. Then on the end here, in the middle, we're going to put a birch door. Then we'll come up here. We'll put two bir birch doors here, two birch doors here. Then we'll switch and do the same thing at this end, a birch door in the very center. Then we're gonna switch over to an oak door. And in this very middle, where there's this andesite strip, we're gonna put one oak door here and one here. Because this car is actually divided off into two halves. Now on the next layer, we come down from the very end, three polished andesite, two green stained glass panes. Then a polished andesite, two stained glass panes. We keep repeating that pattern, coming towards the center of the car, until we have a total of six windows here. And I have six, so we're good. Then we're gonna take polished andesite down, and come across above the door and stop right here for now. I'm using green stained glass panes because a lot of videos show a green tint to the windows on these cars. You can use whatever color window you'd like, but I'm using green because it's not often we get to use green stained glass in Minecraft. Now we're gonna come down to the other end of the car here and we're gonna repeat 
the exact same pattern starting from this end. So three polished andesite, two stained glass, polished andesite, and keep repeating the window pattern until you have six windows on this side. Then fill in the rest with polished andesite until it meets up. So you should be looking like this, with six windows on each side, and three blocks on the end. Then we're going to come down to the other side, and we're just going to copy our pattern exactly across. Now we're going to take out a stone block, start on the end here, and we're going to go end to end on both sides of the car with stone, and we're actually going to do two layers of that. So the stone is two blocks high on each side. Above this, we're going to put three polished andesite on the end and we're just going to copy the polished andesite up from the window dividers below it. The exact same pattern. Except right above the doors, we're going to leave an empty space of two. Same thing over here. We're just copying that window layer directly up. Then we'll do the same thing on this other side here. So three polished andesite on the end and one in between where each of the windows would be. Then we'll fill this in. Skip the two above the door, fill this in, and then back to the window dividers. And three on the end. Then we'll go through both sides and put in our green stained glass panes. Now we're going to come underneath on the sides of these doors here. And on the bottom outside edge, we're going to put a row of four polished andesite blocks and an upside down polished andesite stair facing the end of the car. Same thing on this side, so four polished andesite blocks and an upside down stair. Then we'll do the other side. It's the same thing under here four polished andesite blocks, upside down stair facing the end of the car. And one more corner here, four blocks here, and an upside down stair. Now come down to the center of the car. In this gap we're going to put two vertical polished basalt because there's a vent. And I accidentally put glass there so delete that. Two polished basalt going vertically. Then we're going to grab a polished black stone button real quick and put one on each side of that vent. Same thing over here, one on each side of the vent. Now swing down to the end of the car here and we're going to fill in all around this door and all the way to the top, this whole end of the car, with polished andesite. Then we're going to do the same thing at this end here. So come around the door and across the top and bring it right up to the top level. Then we're going to come down where these doors in the center are and we're going to do the same thing. So polish andesite surrounding the doors and come right across the top and bring it all the way up. And we'll do the same thing for this door. Like I said, this car is divided into two halves. Bring that all the way to the top. Come down in this center area on the layer one block above the door and put two sideways end rods across each side so the central boarding area is lit up. Then on the block above it, we're going to fill it in with polished andesite so there's a ceiling. Now we're going to come inside and work on the interior here. So next to this door, we're going to make two smooth quartz stairs coming up like this on each side. 
Then we're going to turn this way and have a third stair on the third layer up, like this, on each side. Underneath that, we'll put two smooth quartz and two smooth quartz here. Then a column of three polished andesite on each side. Then we're going to turn this way and we're going to make a two by three of polished andesite right here in front of this window. Then we're going to put an end portal down there because this is going to be the bathroom. Then we'll go ahead and put a door on it. A polished andesite across the top of the door. Then we're going to put a torch in there to light that bathroom. Here, there's no bathroom, so we're just going to make a cube that's three blocks tall of polished andesite. Then coming off the top of this, on the outside edge, we're going to run a full line of polished andesite blocks all the way down to the end of the car. And we'll do the same thing on the other side here all the way down to the end. Now we're going to come down and we're going to build the same thing on the opposite side of the car here. So right in front of this door, two smooth quartz stairs coming up on each side. So this way here and this way here. Then turn this way, and the third one goes facing this way. Then we'll put two smooth quartz under that top stair on each side, and a column of three polished andesite on each side. Turn this way, and a two by three of polished andesite, a torch in there, an end portal for a toilet, a door, and then we fill in this two by two, three high with polished andesite. Then we'll run polish andesite down each outside edge, all the way down to the end of the car. Then back down here by this bathroom, I forgot to put the polish andesite block above the door, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Then on this top inside edge, we're going to go end to end with inward facing upside down smooth quartz stairs. Then we'll spin around and do the same thing on this side. And now we're starting to see why I made the car wider than normal. There's this open space in the middle. You wouldn't have been able to walk up here at a three block wide scale. Now we're going to spin around with a dark prismarine stair to be our seats skip one block forward from where the stairs are and start alternating a block of space with a stair on each side. We're going to come down to the second window divider from the end. When we get here we turn around, one on each side facing this way. Then we're going to put two of them across the very end on each side and in this back gap two going sideways because there's like a bench. Same thing over on this side here. Then we're going to come down and do this side. So we repeat the process here, skip one block forward from those stairs, and put a stair on each side alternating with a gap of space. Keep bringing it down till we get to this second from the end window divider, turn around one facing this way on each side, then two across each end and two facing sideways in the middle. Come in here and we're going to put a row of upside down smooth quartz stairs facing the inside of the car so that there's a walkway along these seats. Then we'll spin around here and we'll do the same thing here. A full row of upside down smooth quartz stairs facing the inside of the car. Now we'll come down here and we'll start putting stairs on each side for the seats on the bottom level, alternating with a block of space. You can make them only one block wide if you want. I'm going to make the seats down here two blocks wide just to fill the space a little bit better. So keep alternating a block of space with your seats. Bring that all the way down to the end. When we 
get down here on one side, we'll turn around and put one facing this way. Over here, we're going to leave this space open so there's like a handicap area. Then we'll come to the bottom floor over on this end. And we'll do the same thing. Just start alternating your seats with a block of space coming up both sides of the car, leaving the middle open so there's a walkway. Then on one side here we'll put some facing this way and we'll leave the other side open so there's a handicap area on this side. Now we're going to light it so take out a torch and we're going to put a torch on each of the window dividers here. And one behind the windows and then we'll do the same thing on this side. I was getting caught up in the seats here. Then we'll come light the top so we'll do the same thing, put a torch on each of the window dividers. We'll also put one behind the windows. That way there's light for the stairwells. Same thing on this side here. Then of course we gotta come down and light the other side. So we'll do the same thing. Start behind the window and put one on each window divider on top here. Same thing on this side. And then we got to come down into the bottom floor with the torches. So same thing, one in each window divider going up both sides of the car. And just keep it coming until you get down here. Now everything's lit up for the interior and it will look nice at night. Now on this top level, we're going to run a temporary block up the middle, covering the gap in the floor for right now. Bring it right down to here, one on each side. Then we're going to take a warp trap door, close one here, and one on the other side, and delete the temporary blocks on the each side. Then we're going to come through this whole walkway going down to the end with our trap doors and we're going to close them onto that temporary block. This way there'll be a railing so you don't fall in that hole. And actually right here we're going to go ahead and delete parts of these seats so we can put the railing. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. Just keep bringing trap doors down and close them. Bring it all the way down to right here so there's a railing on this side. Then we can go ahead, come through, and delete all these temporary blocks. So now the interior is accurate. We have a hole in the middle looking down and a railing on each side, and we can walk on each side of the car. Here I'm just testing everything to make sure you can fit and you can still get down these stairs. And you can, so we're good to go. And we gotta do the same thing on the other side now. So same thing, come down to this end, put a row of temporary blocks all the way up this middle. Bring it down right here and one on each side. Take your warp trap doors, close one here, one here, delete those two temporary blocks. And then same thing, we're going to go end to end on each side, closing warp trap doors on these temporary blocks. And same thing, we'll knock out these two interior stairs on the end so we can fit the railing. And then come all the way up this side with your trap doors and close them. Then 
then once we have that, go ahead and come through, delete all the temporary blocks. Then we're going to come down where the bathroom is, because I just remembered you can't place carpet over a torch, so take out that torch and put in a string. Then we're going to put a gray carpet over that hole. You'll have to crouch to place it. And same thing on this side. And then we're going to go through between each of the seats on the outside edge and put dark gray carpet. And bring it all the way down just so it looks a little nicer. Then of course we'll do the same thing on this half of the car. So carpet over there, take out this torch, put in a string, crouch and put the carpet over it. And then we'll come up both sides of this end of the car and we'll put a dark gray carpet in between all of the seats. That way our walkway is marked off in nice white and we have carpet between the seats. Now we'll make the bottom look better. So come down in the bottom and we're going to come right up the middle of the bottom with gray carpet. And we'll bring that all the way down to this middle door. Then we're going to switch to light gray carpet and we're going to fill it. all of the areas between the seats on both sides of the car coming back with light gray carpet. So it looks like we have a completed floor in here. And just keep bringing it all the way to the back. Then we got to come do the carpet for the bottom on the other half. So come over here. We'll do the same thing. Come on down in here. We'll put a row of gray carpet starting at the end door and coming right up the middle. And bring it all the way forward till it meets this door in the middle of the car. Then we'll fill in all the empty spaces between the seats on both sides with light gray carpet. And just keep bringing it down just like we did on the other side of the car. Then we're going to come on the top end of the car here and we're going to fill in this middle five with polished andesite blocks and we're going to fill that whole roof in going end to end. Then on this top outside edge of the car, we're going to put a row of outward facing polished andesite stairs going end to end on both sides. Now in the center there's some ventilation fans, so above this polished black stone button make a plus shape of dark oak trap doors. Knock out the middle, put cobbled deep slate and an oak trap door in the middle. Then we'll come on the opposite side here so it's kitty corner, starting above that polished black stone button and we'll build a second fan. Then we're going to surround it with iron trap doors because this area is a little bit raised. So we're going to come one block out on the side of the fan fill in everything else around the middle and same thing over here one block out so it looks like that. Now we're going to detail the end of the car here. So in front of this door on top of the coupler we need to get an iron trap door. Then we're going to take out a polished black stone wall and we're going to surround the door with that. So start on the bottom on one side and we'll come right up and over the top of the door and down the other side. Then up here on the inside block and down one, 
a redstone torch on each side for marker lights. Come down to this end and we gotta do the exact same thing to detail this end. So an iron trap door above the coupler, surround the door with polished black stone wall, and then up here we put a redstone torch on each side. Now we need to make some banners, so get out a loom and come into it. We're going to use a blue banner and white dye. Vertical on the left, vertical on the right, upside down triangle on top. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, horizontal in the middle. New banner. Horizontal on top, vertical in the middle. New banner. Vertical on the left, top half white, diagonal. New banner. Vertical on the left, vertical on the right, horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle. Then switch to blue dye, and we're going to put a blue border around every single one of these letter banners here. Then we'll come out and actually place the logo on the side of the car. So we're going to come on the side to the left hand side of the door, and we're going to knock out all of this stone two blocks high above these first two windows. And we're going to fill that with lapis lazuli. Then we'll use that to place our banners on, so just spell out the word Metra. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So come on over here. same thing we're gonna go to the left of the middle doors and we're gonna knock out a five wide row that's too tall above these first two windows fill that with lapis azui then we'll go ahead and put our banners on to spell out the word metra Now here I was thinking we were done with the base car, but looking at it, making it wider, messed with how the curvature of the top is, so we're going to edit the top a little bit. So the first thing we'll change are these fans up here, take out all the dark oak trap doors, and we're going to replace those with polished diorite slabs. You can leave that middle oak trap door. Just take out the dark oak ones and put our polished diorite slabs around that. Then we'll come through and we're going to remove all of these iron trap doors. And just keep deleting them all here. For some reason my game was lagging at this point. Then we're going to replace them all with a smooth stone slab with the same pattern coming one past the edge of the fans and filling in everything else around the fans. Same thing over here. Then we're going to switch to polish andesite slabs and we're going to start right there next to the fan section and fill it in five wide on the top going down to the end of the car and we'll do the same thing on the other side. And now the roof has a little bit better curvature and the actual car itself is done but we're gonna do some more here. Feel free to use the structure command to copy in or build as many of these cars as you like. I've just put four cars on my train here. And if you need to know how to use the structure command to copy things, I've recently done a tutorial on that. I'll have that video linked in the description. Another thing you can do to add some more realism is this Metra sign isn't always right here. Sometimes it's above the door here. And sometimes it's down here below the windows. So you can change that if you want. Now I'm going to show you how to modify one of these into the cap car. The first step is to make a little plow underneath here. 
So we're gonna take off this slab on the corner. And then right here, we're gonna put two right side up polished deep slate stairs and an upside down outward facing stair on the side. Go ahead and do the same thing over here. So two stairs here, take out that slab and an upside down stair facing outward. Then we're gonna delete everything off this whole first row except for the door. And these cab cars are rather unique compared to the other cab cars we built being that the cab is on the very top of the car and it goes the full width. Some other cab cars are basically just a tiny little closet for the engineer to sit in. Not so with this one. So just keep deleting this whole first layer of blocks on the end of the car here. It's gonna expose some seats, but we're gonna modify all this anyway. So we should end up looking like this. Then we're gonna take red concrete Come on this bottom corner, two red concrete, a white concrete. Two red on this side of the door and a white. Then we move it over by one. So two red, two red here and here with white in between there. So we have these diagonal stripes. Then we move this over, two red, one red here, fill the rest with white. Then on this layer, we move this one over, two red here, one red on the end, Fill the rest with white. Same thing, move the red over, two red here, fill the rest with white. Two red here, a red on the end, two white here. Then a smooth quartz stair on this corner, and a red nether brick stair on this corner. Then two smooth quartz slabs on the right hand side, two red nether brick, and a smooth quartz, so we have these diagonal stripes. Then we're gonna knock out this block here and the one above it. Same thing on this side, knock out these two. Then we're gonna put our green stained glass panes in there because these are gonna be the windows for the cab. Same thing over here. Then we're gonna take out a stone brick wall. We're gonna surround the door up and over and down each side with stone brick and then we'll bring each side up to the top. Next up here in this top middle we're gonna put two glow item frames with glowstone for headlights. Then here and here kitty corner to the windows glow item frames with redstone for marker lights and then skip down one and one on each side with glowstone for ditch lights. And actually I think we're gonna take out these top three walls on each side and replace them with gray stained glass panes. So it looks like that. Then on each side down here under where this ditch light is we're gonna put two iron trap doors on each side. So it looks like this. Now we're gonna come on this top right hand side and do our horn. So starting above where that redstone stair is, we're gonna open back to back dark oak fence gates for the horn. Then we're gonna swing around on the opposite side and come on bottom behind the plow here. And we're gonna put a bell underneath here. And now we've modified the exterior for the cab car and we have to come inside to change the interior. So we're gonna come on inside here and we have to get up to the top level. So I'm gonna come up these stairs. And for some reason I had an extra block erroneously placed here and I had to delete that. Come up here and get back down to the end. We're going to turn to the side 
and we're going to knock out the front of this first window. Replace that with polished andesite. Then knock out in front of it in green stained glass. So we basically move the window forward by one. Then we're going to delete those three seats there. And we're going to go ahead and delete all of these trap doors. Coming four back from the end. Same thing on that side. Then we'll delete all those seats. Delete the back of this window, polish andesite, move the window forward by one. Then we'll fill in the middle gap here with a smooth quartz slab. Turn to the back of this. We're going to put two polish andesite here on the side, two in the middle, and two on this side. Then we'll come through here. We'll go ahead and put a door right here. Same thing on this side. Like I said, these cab cars actually have a full width cab in them. Then we're going to take out polish andesite. We're going to put a row across the bottom of the front here, one in the middle. Then we'll take some glow item frames, three of them across here, and compass this in them to be gauges. Put some levers on this control stand. We'll also put a lever over up here, just because we have the space for it. Then we'll turn around here, put a seat here, and a seat on this side. Then we'll put a torch on this middle, behind the seats here, so that the cab's lit up. And now the interior of the cab control car is completed. And that's how we modify one of these into a cab car. So there we have it folks. We've completed our Chicago Metro cab car and our bi-level coaches. I know this was a really long intense build, but I think the end result was worth it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.